Hello guys, it's Viol here and today we will be going through the best classes in Elemental Dungeon and which ones to choose in my opinion. I'm going to be giving some special advice on which attributes to use for each build as well so you guys have the best chance in your dungeon run so let's get right to it. Our first class on the list is Tank. Bruh. No, not this tank this tank and in elemental dungeons to be an effective tank you have to put most of your stat points into defense and have good armor and accessories preferably the more health the better this means you're going to need some sort of high health set or rings that boost health percentage tanks cut into two categories though and i'll go through both so you can get a feel for the playstyle. A health tank, aka the traditional tank, aka a AC tank, I say AC for area control tank, means you're literally just there to take damage and lure enemies, maybe into a mage skill or loads of attacks from warriors and the attributes I would recommend for being a normal tank just based off your health and potions is wind. Due to knockback, Earth is nice for area control as well and I recommend these because they're easy to get of course there are better ones later in game but not many people are that lucky and after spinning 20 times and getting 20 fires I'm pretty sure you guys are getting some similar luck. So yeah that's it for the health tank. The second type of tank we have is the healer tank who sacrifices some health points to put them into magic and use heal abilities and that is very important in elemental dungeons because there's no mage weapons this means you literally have to put them and sacrifice some of your own health but it will allow you to save yourself and your team without having to rely on potions but the requirements aren't even easy because now, not only do you not have any mage weapons, but getting Angel, which is the only way to be a healing tank in the game right now, is very very low chance. It even used to be a epic and they've turned it into a legendary. So it's even harder to become a healer tank. So it's not recommended unless you really 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 want to be one. In my opinion, being a healer tank is 10 times more effective. Next we got the glass cannons, we got the warrior and the mage but quickly for those who don't know what a glass cannon is, it's a build with OP damage and no health so you are powerful but die easily or break easily and in game you would put all your stat points in either melee or magic and just go in there with the health that your armor gives you, you also have accessories as damage boosters like the rings to do the most damage and that's basically it in case you have armor for mage i know there's armor for mage in the game you'd also wear that so now i'll go into the benefits of each glass cannon now in my opinion guys i would say the benefit of being a glass cannon warrior in elemental dungeons is that you can go around fighting with no cooldown now with the right build you're kind of op and since there's no mage weapons in the game yet being a warrior glass cannon can lead to high levels of efficiency i'm telling i'm talking about like fast leveling up it used to be the fastest way to level up now the special information i'm gonna give you guys is be an angel use angel and warrior i promise you it's arguably one of the best builds in the game right now i'm on the discord and every day they're arguing oh which one's better is it angel with warrior or is it mage with i'll tell you guys later now for you guys who are extremely unlucky like me who can't wish of getting angel i would say use air it's quite solid it's just normal it's not it's it's just a solid one like it's gonna work here you have the glass cannon mage now with being a glass cannon mage the best thing i must say after trying both of them it is the damage in the game right now it is too op they need to nerf mages you have loads of distance and you can just absolutely want your every like everything you want your everything so even if you're trash at dodging you'll be fine because you don't need to be good at dodging to be a mage you have to sit back and one shot stuff from far away now it really does depend on your attribute though if you are a glass cannon mage the major problem is cooldown times and that lowers as you get through the game but it's still kind of hard to fight especially with the fact that mages have lower health than warriors you'll also find it hard because your weapon does no damage because you're a mage makes sense but if you have at least four attacks i would say you're gonna be op basically i have four attacks on ice and i'm op um my brother has four attacks on lightning and he's op and the secret which i just spilled for some reason oh i'm dumb 
the secret for mages is lightning i'm telling you lightning and mage is op especially if you get all the attacks it's op it, like, it's basically got everything on there although some people say reaper and dragon are just as good or good as well so you guys can argue about that in the comment section below now for the answer we've all been waiting for which is the best class in elemental dungeons drum roll please i can't lie guys it has to go to mage it has to go to mage glass cannon i'm sorry but the damage on mage is too op and when you get mage armor and rings and your moves like all of them cooldown is no longer even a thing so i would say it's not even a valid problem anymore especially when you round them up and you get them to just one shot all at once like when you one shot 10 of them at once like bro like at that point you're winning no matter what you're winning so yeah thank you guys for watching if you like this video and it helped you out remember to like comment subscribe to the channel for more content like this and peace